Gurizing um, YouTube. So the name of this video is going to be um, if you know anyone that's in a toxic relationship or um, is very unhappy, period, or is in some type of domestic relationship where they're in something that's physically uh, harming them and they choosing to stay or they just can't get help. They can't get out. Not everybody make it out of a toxic relationship alive. And that's both for men and women. So that shit is not no game. But for people out there that's like that, please check on these type of people. I document everything that I think, feel, bad, good. I write down or try to remember everything. And this is something that I wrote down on August the 6th of this year at 4.33 a.m. So this is for unhealthy relationships, something that you're in, toxic, or somebody who is going through a domestic relationship where they're physically getting beat and in fear and trying to find their way out. Uh, for, those of, of, for those people who know people like this, the best thing to do for these type of people is constantly check on them. Regardless of if they say I'm good or I'm okay or, you know, everything's straight with me. I always check on these types of people because them the type of people that appear normal one day and then the next day um, they didn't took their life or they didn't overdose or they tried to commit suicide. It's something or some type of harm that they then tried to cause because nobody is there or people say they're there or they have help. So... Always make sure you check on these types of people. They might be going through some type of illness physically, mentally. You never know what happens behind closed doors. Um, call them, send them texts, video chat them, send positive love and words of encouragement. If you need to, smother them. Give them so much love to the point where they just can't deny the love that you're giving them. They're going to be open to receive it. Um, it's always the little things that count. Stop by and check on them as often as you can. Pop up. Stay by their side as often as you can. Even if they say, oh, I'm straight. I'm good. Everything is okay. I got this. You know, I'm feeling good today or I'm happy today. Sometimes you can read through lives. You can feel it through energy. Your spirit lets you know that it's a lie. And don't forget that the Most High gives his uh, toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. So even the strongest need help. Even the strongest need some type of love or support. You feel what I'm saying? You don't need nobody, but it's good to have somebody if that makes sense. You know, just to vent to, to have that shoulder to lean on, to uh, cry on, or just to just talk to open up. Because it's not good to walk around with all the extra baggage and keep everything inside here. That's how you you killing yourself internally. You feel what I'm saying? And that's not good. It's very unhealthy. You basically digging yourself an early grave when you do things like that. And that's toxic. So um, we all need love or that one person that we can call on regardless of what you go through. We all need an outlet and a release. Um, and we all also all need that go-to place. We need a reset button. We need to unwind. We must reset our thoughts and become free of our worries. No one knows what the next person is thinking or feeling. Not all are mentally able to face this thing called life. So check in on your loved ones, your friends, or whoever you consider that you love on a day-to-day -day basis. Some, some need more love than others or more attention than others or more support than others. The people who appear to be okay, smiling, and then you feel what I'm saying? Late on, they by themselves, they thinking, you, Lord knows what, because guess what? Your mind is your worst enemy. You feel what I'm saying? You might react on them thoughts that you're thinking. So check on the people that need your love most. 